guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind A Crafty Concept. On this channel, I provide free crochet patterns and crochet business tips to help crocheters take their skill and love for crochet and turn it into a full-time or part-time income. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make another crafty gift pocket and this one is here by very popular demand the cow crafty gift pocket. For the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make one with a patch around its eye, but to make it this way to look like a Highland cow, you just change your colors. I talk about it in the video, but before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to this video's very special coffee sponsor. This video's coffee sponsor is Bob, and Bob says, Ashley, so glad I found one of your videos the other night. It was on stuffed animal construction. I liked the professional appearance it has, as well as a great sense of organization and lack of children crying in the background, cats and dogs walking on presenter's desk. Bob, I'm so glad you liked my video and found it easy to watch and enjoyable to watch. I hope I do not disappoint you in the future. Bob is our biggest coffee sponsor to date. So huge, huge shout out to you. If you would like to be a coffee sponsor, you can go to acraftyconcept.com forward slash coffee, leave a donation and a comment, and you will get a shout out in one of my upcoming videos. I believe that's all I have for this intro. Be sure to stay tuned till the very end of this video because I'm going to tell you how you can get your hands on a freebie that will help you market and package your crafty gift pocket. Let's hop on over to my table and see what you need to make yourself a cute crafty cow pocket. Here's what I will be using to make my crafty cow pocket. This is about what it's going to look like. This was one of my prototypes. It'll look a little bit better than this one. This is what you can make if you just change up the colors. It's the exact same pattern. You just leave off the patch and change up your color. So super simple if you want to make this style cow. For the body of my cow gift pocket, I'm going to be using linen. I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. For the, the little snout, I'm going to be using pink Brava yarn from We Crochet. I can't remember the exact name of the yarn. I'll try to put it on screen. And and for the patch, I'm gonna be using terracotta. I love this yarn. You may need the grid. You can find this in the blog post that goes with this pattern and the ad-free PDF that you can purchase in my shop. A tapestry needle, a G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. This is Clover Amore hook brand. This is my favorite hook to use. I love Clover Amore. It's the only hooks that I use. If you've never tried it, you absolutely need to. I will put a link to all of these things in the description below. You will need a pair of scissors. And last, I will be using puff paint to make the eyes for my cow pocket, but you can also embroider your own eyes or use felt eyes or whatever it is that you like. I like to use puff paint. So we're going to start with our snoot colored yarn down here. We're going to start by making a foundation single crochet row of 10. Okay, couldn't find the middle. We're going to start by making a slip knot, then insert your hook and chain two, one, two. Now we're gonna insert our hook into the first chain space that we made. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. This is where our hook will go for the next foundation single crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. That's our first foundation single crochet stitch. So insert your hook into that space you made when you pull through one. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one. This is where our hook is gonna go for the third stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. That's two foundation single crochet stitches. We're gonna keep doing that all the way down until we have 10 foundation single crochet stitches. You may notice that I yarn under instead of, I yarn under instead of the traditional yarn over. That's just how I taught myself. It will not affect this pattern. You yarn however you would like. So we're going to go till we get to 10 stitches. We have one more to go. And then we're going to chain one and turn our work. That is row one. Now for row two, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet all the way down, and then increase in the last stitch. We are going from 10 stitches to 12 stitches. So we're going to put an increase in the first stitch, which just means two single crochet stitches together. So one and two. That is our increase. Then we're going to single crochet down our chain here, our stitches. And 
and then we are going to single crochet increase in the last stitch. So again, two more single crochets in the same spot for our increase. Chain one and turn our work. For row three, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down again for 12 stitches. Chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to increase in the first stitch, one and two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches, one, two. Now we're going to make our first little nostril here, and the nostril is made, is made by, by doing a bobble stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Do that until there's four of those in your space. So we're going to do it again. Yarn over, insert into the space, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Pull through two, that's three. This is the last one, four. Now you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops to finish out your bobble stitch. Now we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. And I like to go ahead and give that one a tug to make your bobble extra poochy outy. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do another bobble stitch, just like the first one. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all five loops on your hook. Then we're going to single crochet two, give it a nice tug, one, two, and then we're going to increase in the last stitch. We will have 14 total stitches in this row. Chain one and turn our work. Now you can see your little nose holes, your little nostrils. Now we're going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way across again for a total of 14 stitches. So no increases or bobbles in this row. Okay, chain one and turn our work. Now we're gonna increase in the first stitch. One, two, single crochet across. And then you guessed it, we're gonna increase in the last stitch. But in this last stitch is where we are going to change to our body color. For me, it is the linen. I love this yarn. Okay, last space. Now we're gonna increase by placing two single crochets. That's one. And the second one, we're not gonna finish it all the way. We're just gonna leave it just like that, unfinished. Drop our pink and grab our linen, or whatever color you're using for the body of your cow, and finish out the stitch. Just like that. Chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to do two rows where we just put one single crochet in each stitch all the way down. So when I have a color changing row, I, I always, always make sure to yarn over. I feel like that makes a prettier stitch when you're doing a color change. I feel like if I yarn under, it's a little bit sloppier for color changes only. So I like to at least make this whole row a yarn over row. 16, chain one and turn your work. We're gonna do one more row of 16 and you can go ahead and clip your pink yarn. Just leave a tail long enough for sewing in. Boop. Then we're gonna do one more row of linen 16 and then we're gonna switch. We're gonna we're start gonna getting ready to make the color changes for our little patch. 16, chain one and turn our work. This is what we have so far, looking super cute. Love the nostrils. Okay, now we are going to get ready to do the color changes for the little patch around our cow's eye. If we look at our chart, we are on this row right here and we are on this side because it's the side that our tails are on. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten linen, three terracotta, and then three more linen. So we're gonna do our 10 linen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. We're not going to complete the tenth. We're going to drop the linen and we're going to grab the terracotta. Okay, so instead of terracotta, I just don't think it meshes well with this bubblegum pink nose. I'm going to use a brown color. This is called Brownie and it is yarn B soft and sleek from Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna drop our linen, grab our brownie, and finish out the stitch. Now, when we do our three brown single crochet stitches, we're going to pull along with us this linen. So we're gonna have it aligned with our stitches back here, and we're gonna crochet over it so it'll be on this side when we need it again. So I'm going to go into the stitch for my first brownie single crochet, but I'm going to make sure I'm also going over that linen tail. Place one, next stitch, two, and the last one. That's our third one. I'm going to drop the brown, pick up the linen. I'm going to make sure it's taut so it's not all loosey-goosey under there, but not tight or it will buckle our work. Drop the brown, finish out the stitch with our linen, and then we have three linen single crochets left. One, two, and three. Chain one and turn our work. Now we have three linens, four browns, and the rest linen. So we're gonna start with our three linen. We still have 16 single crochets in this row two, and three. Now I'm gonna pull my tail to the wrong side of my work, which is the side that does not have your nose holes, and I'm going to grab my brown and finish out that third stitch. Now we are going to single crochet four browns, but we're gonna make sure to go over this linen. So over the linen, One, two, three. That's called carry your yarn, I think. And then this is four. We're gonna drop the brown, give the linen a tug so it's nice and neat under there. Pull the brown to the back, to the wrong side of our work, and just kinda hold it there. And then finish out the stitch with the linen and then we're gonna single crochet the rest of the way down with just linen, giving us a total of 16 stitches in the row. Then we're going to chain one and turn our work. This is our last row of 16. Then we're gonna start our decreases. So we're gonna single crochet eight linen, six brown, two linen. So we're gonna start with our eight linen. One, two, three, seven, eight. We're not gonna finish that stitch out. We're gonna drop the linen, pick up the brown, finish the stitch with our brown. Now we have six browns and we're gonna make sure to go over our linen tail, carry our linen with us. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Drop the brown, give the linen a tug, finish the stitch with the linen, and then we have two more linens to give us 16 stitches in the row. Chain one and turn our work. Now we are gonna start our decrease rows. So we're gonna decrease one, which means we're gonna take these two stitches here and turn them into just one stitch. So insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the second stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Grab your yarn, pull through all three loops on your hook. But that's a decrease. But since we're gonna be changing colors, we're not gonna pull through all three. So that's a typical decrease, but we're not, we're not, we're changing to brown. So we're gonna insert, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, insert, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Instead of yarning over and pull through all three, we're gonna bring our linen to the wrong side of our work. We're gonna grab our brown, and we're gonna finish out that decrease with our brown. Now we are going to single crochet six stitches with our brown, being sure to carry our linen with us. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, and six. Drop the brown, tighten the linen, pull the brown to the back side like this. Finish out the stitch with your linen. Now we're going to single crochet down with linen, but we're going to be sure to decrease over the last two stitches. In this row, we'll have 14 stitches instead of 16. Okay, two stitches left, and that's where we're going to place our decrease, and this time we don't have to change our colors. There you go, chain one and turn our work. The next row, we are not going to decrease, so it's just gonna have 14 stitches again. We are gonna start by single crocheting six linen stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop the linen, grab the brown, finish out that stitch with our brown. Now we have six brown stitches, so insert with our brown, but make sure to go over the linen, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop the brown, give the linen a tug. Pull, finish that stitch with the linen and then single crochet two with the linen. And two, perfect, chain one and turn our work. Now we are at another decrease row. We're gonna decrease over the first two stitches with our linen, but we're gonna finish out the stitch with our brown. So pull the linen to the back, grab our brown, finish out the stitch. Now we're gonna crochet six times with the brown, being sure to carry our linen with us. I keep forgetting to do that and I keep having to re-record each row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Drop the brown, pull it to the back, pick up the linen, give it a tug, finish out the stitch with the linen. Now we're gonna single crochet the rest of the row with our linen and then being sure to decrease when we get to the last two stitches. So there's two stitches left and that's where we're gonna place our decrease going from 14 to 12 stitches in the row. Chain one and turn our work. We're gonna single crochet five linen. One, two, three, four, Five, drop the linen, pick up the brown, finish out the stitch. Now we're gonna single crochet with our brown for six stitches going over the linen. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Drop the brown, pick up the linen. Last single crochet is with the linen. Chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to single crochet five with our brown, being careful to go around our linen yarn. One, two, three, four, and five. Drop the brown, finish out the fifth stitch with our linen, and then we have two linen stitches left. One and two, chain one and turn our work. Okay, now we are going to single crochet six stitches with our linen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop the linen, pick up the brown, finish out the stitch. We're gonna single crochet four stitches with the brown. Carrying the linen, my goodness, I keep forgetting that, okay? One, two, three, and four. Don't finish the stitch, drop the brown, finish it out with the linen, single crochet two times with the linen. One, two, chain one, and turn our work. We're gonna decrease over the first two stitches. 
We're not going to finish it with our linen though. We're going to pull it to the back, pick up our brown to finish out the stitch. Now we have three browns, making sure to go over our linen. One, two, and three. We're not going to finish it with the brown. Pull it to the back, grab our linen, finish out the stitch. Now we're going to single crochet down until we get to the end, the last two stitches, and that's where we're going to place our decrease. Okay, last two stitches gets a decrease. Now we are going to finish out the rest of our little cow here with the linen yarn. So single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down for a total of 10 stitches. 9 and 10, chain 1 and turn our work. This is a decrease row. The last three rows are decreases. So we're going to decrease in the first stitch, then single crochet down, and decrease in the last stitch giving us a total of eight stitches in the row. Last two stitches, get the decrease. Chain one, turn our work. Decrease over the first two. Single crochet down. And decrease over the last two. Chain one and turn our work. Last row, decrease over the first two. Single crochet two, one and two, and then decrease over the last two. Okay, that we can we can tie off here, but let's go ahead and take a look first before we tie off. This is the front piece of our little cow gift pocket. Looking very super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie off here and clip my yarn. And I know we haven't cut off the brown yet. I want to tell you guys something first. If you don't like the, the way the edges are around the color changes, you can leave a long brown tail, really long, and use a tapestry needle to kind of go around the edge if you want to like clean it up a little bit. You're welcome to try to do that if you would like. I'm not going to do that. I think the edge looks fine, but if you would like to make it look a little different, you can use this tail to go through and cover up any areas like right here. That one's a little right in between those two. Right down here is a little funky. You could go in and perfect those if you wanted to just by leaving a long tail. I'm gonna leave it a long tail just in case I get a hankering later, but right now I don't, I'm not planning on doing that, but we'll see. Now to make the back two pieces, they are just like the front piece, but they're split into two and you don't have to do the color changes, so they're easier. You don't have to do the color changes, and you don't have to do the nostrils, okay? So you're gonna do the bottom rows, start with the foundation, single crochet of 10, just like we did for the front piece, then go all the way through these rows here. There are 11 total rows for the bottom, and then for the top, you're just gonna make the entire thing linen, no color changes whatsoever for the top. You're gonna start with the foundation, single crochet of 16, so just like the 10, you're just gonna do six more. There are 13 total rows for the top piece. The bottom back piece and the top back piece, I'm going to do them off camera and then we will all come back together and assemble these guys. Pro tip when you are making these pieces, do not cut your pink yarn here and do not cut your linen yarn here because that's what we're going to use to assemble. Before I do my front and back pieces actually, I'm going to make the ears. So we'll make the ears here on camera, then you can do your front and back pieces off camera, and then we'll come back and assemble everything. Okay, for our first ear, I don't know. I don't know if I like even like the patch. Let's just make them solid. So make a slip knot, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're gonna single crochet six. So skipping the chain closest to your hook, I like to put mine in the back bump, which is those little horizontal bars that connect all of our Vs. That's where I like to put my stitches. We're gonna place a single crochet and do that all the way down for six stitches. Two, three, four, five, oops, 
six, chain one, and turn our work. Let's do two more rows with the linen. So just six single crochets in each row for two more rows. Two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one, turn your work. One, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, turn our work. I'm gonna do one more row with the linen. This would be our fourth row of six. And then I'm gonna switch to my brown. Five, six, drop the linen, grab the brown. One thing is we're gonna have to single crochet all the way around. We're gonna have a ton of extra tails. We're gonna have a ton of tails with, with the adding the brown. Chain one and turn our work. Now we're gonna do two rows of six with the brown. And that gives us six total rows of six single crochets. Chain one, turn our work. We're gonna decrease over the first two stitches. That's one single crochet one time in each of the next two stitches. One, two, decrease over the last two, giving us a total of four stitches in the row. Chain one, turn our work. Decrease over the first two, decrease over the last two, giving us two stitches in the row, chain one. So now we are gonna single crochet around the ear, all the way around. Now with the color changes, we're gonna to have to do brown single crochet, add the linen, linen single crochet all the way around, add brown again, and then brown single crochet. If we would have kept this longer, we could have used it right there. It might be faster to just redo it. If you were just doing a solid ear, you wouldn't have to do any of that. So I truly think solid ears are gonna be where it's at. These had eight rows instead of six. That's why they're so big. So we have six rows of six before we start our decreases. This one had eight rows. So if you want them this long, you're gonna need to do extra rows, eight rows. These ones are gonna be a little bit shorter. So we'll see how that turns out. I, this is my first time doing it, but I'm not digging the patch. We're gonna undo the patch. That's what you wanna do if you wanna do the patch. I don't have time for the patch. So I did my four rows of six. I gotta do two more rows of six and then decrease to four and then decrease to two. Then we are going to single crochet all the way around. And I wanna do that on camera with you. So let me get caught up where I just took off my patch and decrease, perfect, chain one. I'm just gonna turn my work. Now we're gonna single crochet around our entire ear. We are gonna start by placing one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're gonna go down this side, which should be eight stitches because we have eight rows. So we have to make our own spots for our hook to go but we're gonna have to do that later anyway, so better get used to that. But it should be eight stitches. So two, three, four, I feel like I snuck an extra one in there. Five, six, perfect. Seven and eight. Now we are at the bottom corner. As soon as I finish this one. Get in there, okay. Now we're at the bottom corner where we can actually see the tops of our stitches. We're gonna place two single crochets in the first stitch, four across the bottom, and then two in the last stitch. This is gonna help make our corners a little cleaner. So two single crochets here in the first stitch. One and two. One stitch in each of the four stitches across the bottom. One, two, three, and four, and then two stitches in the last stitch, one and two together. Excellent. Then we're gonna single crochet eight up the other side, and then this ear will be finished. Seven, last one for eight. Excellent, join into the top of our first single crochet that we did for the, the edging. And now we can tie off. 
Perfect. Alrighty. This is what we have. I like to just kind of pull everything to make all my stitches go where they're supposed to be. Like make them fall right into place. All the little fibers of my yarn. Okay. And this is what our ear looks like. So size wise, it's going to look something like this. I'm going to pinch those ends together. It's going to look something like that for our cow. cow. So if you like the floppier ear, you're going to want to do eight rows of six before you start your decreases. But let's go ahead and finish this one out. It looks really stubby. Seven might be the, the magic number. So we, we will see once we get that finished. Go ahead and make a second ear and then make your bottom back piece and your top back piece. And then we will come back here together and assemble everything and have a magic little crochet cow gift pocket. Okay, now that we have all of our pieces, we can start the assembling process. A front piece, two ears, a top back piece, and a bottom back piece. Our cowl is going to be assembled inside out, and then we'll flip it right side out when we're finished. My front piece, and then this is the correct side for this guy, and then this one doesn't matter. Okay, so I like to make my right side the stitches when we switched to linen on the bottom back piece, the front of that row, I like that to be my right side. This is what the back looks like. So this is what we're going for. Now since they are made to be, it's gonna be flipped inside out, the back bottom piece needs to be on top of the back top piece so that when we're flipped it inside out, the back top piece is on top, okay? So this is what we're going for. We are gonna start by single crocheting down this side here. Before we start assembling, you need to know how the ears are gonna be assembled. So there are eight stitches across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first two are kinda of off to the side a little bit, the first and the last. When we attach this to our cow, we're gonna fold it in and in. So these four stitches are gonna be touching and these four stitches are gonna be touching. So we're gonna go through the first stitch here and the fourth stitch together, and then the second stitch and the third stitch together that we're gonna be putting our hook through all of those stitches at the same time. I'm gonna set everything else aside. We just need our front piece and our top back piece. Flip it over so that the front piece is on top. Remove your hook from your working yarn of the top back piece and insert your hook into the first stitch of the last row of the front piece. Grab your working yarn and pull it through. Actually, that was a chain one, okay. Grab your working yarn, pull it through, and then we're gonna chain one. Now we are at the top of our stitches. We're gonna do two single crochets in the first stitch where we just joined. The join does not count as a stitch. So we're gonna insert our hook into the first stitch of the front piece, insert your hook into the first stitch of the top back piece, and we're gonna place two single crochets right there in that spot. So that's one and then again for two. Then we're gonna place one single crochet in the next two stitches. So this is the first one, making sure to go through the front and the back piece. That's one, front and back, that's two. And then we're gonna place two more single crochets here in this last spot together. One and two. Now we're gonna start working down the right hand side. We're gonna have two stitches before we grab our ear. So if you're looking at your chart, it's actually reversed because we're on the back side, but it's the same basic concept. We're gonna be going in here and in here. The side of our work, not the top. This is where the stitches are pretty. We're going in the side. So we're going into the raw side of our work and we're gonna do two stitches and then we're gonna attach our ear. So we've got two stitches that should be lined up together making sure to go through the front and the back pieces. Okay, that's one. And then our second one is two. Now we need to add our first ear. So we need it to be, when it's flipped inside out, we need it to be like this. That's what it's gonna look like when it's flipped inside out. So when it's in there, right sides are facing together again. So we're gonna fold them, one, two, three, four, and then make sure it's the right sides are touching on the cow's head, okay? So it's going inside like this, and then we're gonna single crochet down, and then when we flip it out, it'll be sticking out on the right side. A little weird, I'm hoping that I'm able to talk you through it. So now, 
we are going to go through the next stitch and then we're going to go through two stitches of our first ear. So when it's folded, we're starting on the corner bits here. Okay, so going through two, and then going through three, and then we're going through the back piece. So we've got all these stitches on our hook, and that's where we're going to place our single crochet. Then the next one, go the front piece, then we've got our two ear stitches, which is the one before, right here, and then the one after, right here. And that's the first four stitches of our ear, and then the last four will be another fold. And then go all the way through to the back piece. That's all the stitches that we have on our hook. And as soon as we get this ear attached, I'll flip it and show you what it's going to look like. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Okay, we have two more stitches that include the ear. So we're going to go into the front piece stitch. Now we've got to fold our ear again. One, two, three, four. Those are our spots. One, two, three, four. We're going to be going through one and four this time. So fold it in half. Go into one, into four, just like that. And then the back one, there's all the stitches. Place our single crochet there. Okay, make it nice and tight. And then we have one more going through the ear stitches this time. So there we go. That's our last two spots because it's right there on the edge. And now our first ear is attached. Let's go ahead and do one more stitch just to secure the front and back pieces and then I'll flip it so you can see. So another stitch for the front piece, the next stitch for the back piece. Again, you're making your own spots all the way down the sides until we get to the bottom down here. We're making our own spots. Okay, so we have done one, two, those were first, and then one, two, three, four, that's our ear, and then we just did another one right there for one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of the linen. Let me just give you a little sneak peek of what it's gonna look like. Also, it's a good time to double check your work, but when you flip it right side out, you see our little folded ear looking really cute. This tail will be hidden onto the inside. We'll go ahead and do that now so you can see. Pull it in there nice and tight. There you go. See, it's gonna look really cute. I do like this, this mini, mini rose for the ear. I think it's still big enough to be a cute floppy cow ear but not overly big. Okay, let's finish up. We have three more stitches before we need to start adding our back bottom piece. So we just did one, two before the ear, one, two, three, four, with the ear, and then I did one more here to hold it. We have two more right here, and then we're gonna grab the, our back bottom piece. So let's do two more stitches, going through the front piece and the back top piece only, for one, and the next one is for two. Okay, now the next four single crochets are gonna be going through three pieces at the same time. Remember to make your right sides touching each other. The bottom back piece is gonna go on top of the top back piece. So this is what we've got. All three of these pieces are gonna be going gone through at the same time right now. Okay, if you've been following along to this, this whole time and you thought, Ashley, you don't have enough rows on your back bottom piece, you are correct. I only had four linen rows, needed five. My bad. Sorry to add to any confusion. I hope I didn't mess you up too bad, but I have added it now, and all is well. Start going through all three pieces into the front top, into the front piece, into the back top piece, and then into the back bottom piece. There we go. All three pieces on our hook. That's one, we're gonna do that for a total of four stitches. Making sure to go through all three pieces. That's two. There we go, four, three, and last one. 
four, and now, okay, last one. Now we have one single crochet left with our linen yarn, and it's going through the front piece and the back bottom piece only. So our back top piece is fully attached on this side now. So we can just set up everything to the side and move right on along. But we're not gonna complete with the linen. We're gonna drop the linen. Okay, now it's time to grab some pink. Hopefully you saw the pro tip at the beginning of this video and you left a long tail on your front piece of your cow. I did not because I'm doing this as I go. It's very hard for me to make notes for that until it's like video times. That's just how my brain works. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have to attach a new pink, but hopefully you do not. So if you did have a long enough tail, you would just grab this, finish out the stitch and keep going. Finish out the stitch with some new pink here. And now we are gonna single crochet down the front piece and the back bottom piece until we get to this corner. And it should be six stitches. So going through the front piece, going through the back piece, making sure I got the right yarn here. That's one, you can tighten that up. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. And get between the stitches here. Okay, and last one here, six. Excellent. Now we are down here. We're gonna go across these stitches right here. We are in the tops of our stitches, so we're no longer in the raw side until we get back over here. We're gonna place two single crochets in the first stitch, which is this one here. We're gonna insert a hook there, and then the first stitch of the back piece, okay? That's one, and we're gonna do it again in the exact same spot for two. Okay, now go down the sides here. One. Two, go all the way down until you get to the last stitch because we're gonna increase in that stitch as well. Okay, two spaces left, one, and now two single crochet stitches in the last stitch on both front and back, back bottom pieces. So two together here, one, and I'm gonna move this tail out of my way. Two, now we have six stitches going up the side here, just like we did on the other side. So I'm gonna do this a little bit faster. One. Two, five, and six. But in the last one, we are going to be changing to our linen yarn. So six for here, and start the stitch with our pink, but finish it out with our linen. And then we have one linen stitch before we go through all three of our cow pieces here. So that's one. Now we're gonna layer everything up appropriately. We're gonna go through all three pieces for four stitches, just like we did on the other side. You can go ahead and cut your pink now. One. Two, three, and then the last one for four. Okay. There we go. Now we need to see how many stitches we have until we grab our second ear. Okay, so these four right here are our ear stitches. So we have one, two, three stitches left, then our four ear stitches, and then two more stitches join into the top, Bob's your uncle. Three stitches, just going through the front piece and the top back piece. One, two, three, 
two, and three. Now we're gonna grab our ear. Now this one's gonna be a little bit trickier because it's like squeezed inside our work. Remember we're folding it just like we did the other one. We're gonna place it in there just like that so the right side is touching the right side of our front piece. So it's gonna go in just like this. Boop, just have x-ray vision. That's what it's gonna look like in there. And the first stitch that we're gonna go through is these two together, and then these two together, and then these two points together, and then the, the curve together. So that's what we're doing. Just like on the other side, we're just going in the reverse order. So I'm gonna insert my hook into the stitch here. Then I'm gonna grab this guy, shove him in there. You can come in from the back too and pull it in if you need to. Okay. Now when this is folded, these, these two are the ones I'm gonna be using. It's the little corner edge of the fold. So here and here. And then these two are the next one, these two right here. Here we go. Keep it tight, that's one front piece, then the two ear pieces here, pull it out. So you can see what you're doing. Okay, that's the first stitch, and then that's the second one, see? Okay, and then the back stitch. This is two. Two more with the ear here. Front piece. Okay, now this is gonna be this piece and this, this corner here and then the middle. So kinda kinda fold it in corner and then skip those two and then the middle one you can see them you just got to be know know what you're looking for okay and then the back piece okay that's three ear stitches and then we're on our last ear stitch we're almost done friends okay this one's the edge there you go, that's under two stitches, and then, boop. Two more single crochets and we're done. That's one, and the last one for two. Join into the top of our first single crochet that we did when we first started assembly. And we can tie off, woo! I'm sweating, we did it. Now, the moment of truth, we gotta flip it right side out and see how she did, ready? I've done this and my ears been backwards, my top wasn't on top of my bottom, it was just a whole mess. But I think we got it this time. Got all them lovely, lovely tails to sew in. Go ahead and clip that off. I like to just run my finger around all the stitches on the insides, make sure everything's in its right place and popped out and all that good stuff. Look how cute. Look how cute she is. I love it. Now we're gonna sew in all of our tails and then we're gonna add the eyes. I'm going to be using puff paint for my eyes. I have a full video tutorial on how to do this if you would like to check that out. I'm gonna be doing it fairly quickly here on this video for the sake of time. Let's sew in one tail together just so I, I can show anybody who's never done it with a tapestry needle. I'm gonna use a tapestry needle and thread it onto my, my tail here and I'm gonna just sew it in by going through the stitches, like in between the middle of the stitches. Really strategic like. And I like to make a couple passes and then try to actually go back over my passes at least once. So everything is all nice and knotted up in there and nobody's gonna know and these tails are never gonna get loose. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to all of my other tails off camera, and then we'll come back and paint on our eyes. I like to do the tails before I do the eyes, so the tails don't mess up the eyes. Also, the eyes take a long time to dry, so I'm gonna go do all of my tails, and then we'll come back and do the eyes. Okay, all of my tails have been sewn in. 
And now my cute little cow gift pocket is ready for their eyeballs. I think I'm just going to do two little black blobs with white highlighting to make my little cow eyes. So first I'm going to kind of mark where I want them to go with my paint. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to start with the one and then I'll find the other one. Okay, there and I think right here. It's look pretty symmetrical, yeah? I'm going to do this one first. Okay. Now the other side. Pretty good. Pretty good. Look how cute they are. Now I'm going to let it dry, sadly. It's going to take a hot minute to dry, but not all the way. And then I'm going to add the white. I'm just going to put a big blop at the top and then a tiny blop after that on both sides, the same sides of each eye. Then our little cow is complete. Oh, it's so cute. They are perfect for gifts like gift cards or cash. They can also hold a variety of other small things. You can attach them to a keychain and hang them from a diaper bag or a backpack for quick necessities like hand sanitizer or tissues. You can use them to gift small things like manicure sets or a small sewing kit. Another great way to use these would be birthday party favors. If you're having a farm or cow themed birthday party, you could put little treats inside of this and give it out to each kid for the birthday party favor. You can give them out as classmate gifts for like Valentine's Day or any other special holiday. I have a ton more designs already in the works, so stay tuned for all of that fun stuff. Let's head on over to the yarn wall. I will show you a freebie you can get to help you market and package these guys to your audience and give you a sweet little send off. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you love this cute little cow gift pocket pattern. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them for you as best as I can. Now, as promised, I mentioned a freebie that you can get. If you sign up to my email list through the link below, you can get the gift pocket product tags to attach to your gift pockets to sell at your local markets or to use as packaging to package your Etsy orders. If you're selling them at markets, some people may not know exactly what they are. These tags will tell them what they are. They will also tell them the price so you can eliminate the very uncomfortable how much is this conversation. If you have clearly displayed prices, you're going to get more sales every time. So go ahead and click the link down below to sign up so you can grab this freebie. You can use these product tags on all of the crafty gift pocket designs. And as I've mentioned a hundred times, I have so many more designs coming out. You should see my sketches. There are probably 20 other designs that I have not even shown anybody yet and I cannot wait to release them to you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button while you're still here so you do not miss a single free crochet pattern or crochet business tip video. As always, if you post any pictures of your finished pieces, I would love to see them. You can tag me at a crafty concept over on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or all of the places. I hope you have a great day, a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.